Good afternoon, yogins. My name is Amanda Shepard. Welcome to Play Along Practice. Uh, I'm excited that you're interested in playing along with me. And um, if you enjoy these practices, please subscribe so you can keep up to date when they are posted. Uh, I also maybe like and share. And there are other ways to support me during our collective staycation if those are interesting. Um, hopefully you can hear me okay. I have my front door open because my dog is sitting outside at her favorite place to be, which is the grass. Maybe you can hear the motorcycles because there's lots of um, traffic around where I live. Uh, today I'm going to start with the chant and this one is Sahana Vava 2. Uh, to chant about um, connecting into the energy of something larger than yourself into Brahman or um, God or just energy or you know Buddha or whatever um, term that you like um, and um, it's about allowing that idea of duality that we feel most of the time to maybe bring us closer to um, accepting and um, really cherishing and embracing the true self, which is non-dual and always already connected to everything around us. I think it's a good chance to have at this time where there's so much um, divisiveness in um, what we should all be doing kind of right now. Uh, right. Um, so it goes uh, on. Um, and this translation is Brahman or vibrations of the universe or God or whatever term you like. Protect both of us together. Nourish both of us together. May we work both of us together with great energy. May our study be vigorous and effective and may we charge no ill feeling toward each other. Uh, Om Shanti Shanti Shanti, peace, peace, perfect peace. And the Sanskrit sounds like uh, Sahana Vavatu, Sahanao Bunaktu, Saha Viryam Karava Vahai, Teja Svidnao Adhit Amastu, Mavid Visha Shava Vahai. And we'll do that three times and then Om Shanti 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 at the end. You can sing along or not or belt it out because maybe you're in your own living room and there's nobody around to hear you. Okay. Just start to settle into the breath. Nice deep inhale, maybe let it go through the mouth. Just let your breath become nice and easy. And I'm gonna start. Sahana Vavatu, Sahana Vunaktu. Saha Viryam Karavahai Tejas Vinavadhit Samastu Mavid Vishashavahai Sahana Vavatu Sahana Bunatu Saha Viryam Karavahai Tejas Vinavadhit Samastu Mavid Vishashavahai Sahana Vavatu Sahana Bunaktu Saha Viryam Karavahai Tejas Vidnarit Tamasu Mavid Vishashavahai Om Shanti Shanti, Shanti. Gently open the eyes, allow your shoulders to drop, and maybe drop the right ear off to the right and reach that left arm out. Just stretching out the scalenes, you can add your right arm. Come back through center, look over the right shoulder and let the chin come down. Keep the spine straight. Go back to the other side. Lift up, maybe do a couple shoulder rolls. Right, just moving into the body. Switch the feet. 
Drop the shoulders down, drop the right ear, uh, sorry, left ear off to the left, reach out through your left arm. Oh, I just did that side, sorry. Drop the left ear off to the left, reach out through the uh, right arm, and then maybe add your hand to do the scaling. Just give it a little more oomph. All right, keep the spine long. Come on back through center. Look over the left shoulder, let your chin come down, going across. Go to the other side, if you feel any positions that are a little wonky, you can spend a little extra time. Maybe do some shoulder circles, right? Going both ways. Nice deep inhale here, and as you exhale, let's just make our way around to all fours, starting out super simple. Finding your cat cows, drop the belly, exhale, push the floor away. Really making it connected to breath. Well, maybe let that get a little bit longer, front to back. Scooping the belly, exhaling forward, inhaling back. One more, maybe tuck the toes, lift those hips up and back, downward facing dog. Plant your palms, thumbs easy, palms spreading apart, gripping the floor, wrap your triceps back. Energy towards the heels. Exhale, plank pose, coming all the way forward. And then let's just do those, like a grand, really big, like um, giant cat more like a, a tiger and like a really big cow. I don't know. Next time you come forward, Chaturanga Dandasana all the way to the floor. And maybe find a sphinx pose, elbows underneath your shoulders. Keep that low back safe by scooping that belly in and up. You can relax your glutes if they're Clenched or anything, let them go easy. Inhale. Maybe push your palms into the floor and let the elbows exhale, lengthen the body to come down. Let your hands come out by your side for a cobra variation. Keep that belly lifting, right? Can you see that's active? So instead of dumping into your low back, reach it long. Inhale, exhale, come on down. A couple more times. Reaching forward, right arm reaches out to the side, left arm to your lever, roll onto that right side body. Exhale, come back through center, take it the other way. Come back through center. Hands by your side, keep the tailbone long. Make space between your belly button and your clothes. Shalambhasana. Maybe add the feet. And then let your hands come down. Make a pillow for your forehead. And you're just going to get a little strength on that SI joint. Feet come that distance. Exhale, hip. Maybe three times. Bring your hands down. Cobra or up dog. Exhale, down dog. Breathing here. Feeling so good. Nice giant cat cows. This time come forward, roll onto the outside edge of that right foot, inside edge of the left. Reach that left arm up. Draw the shoulders away from your ears. And as you exhale, just draw that left knee in and reach it long. Exhale, knee in, reach it long. One more time. This time, step it up. Come on to your fingertips. Bring the right knee down. Reach those toes away. Take your hands to the thigh. Breathe into the back of the body. Reach those arms up. Tell them stays long. Lift your ribs off the waist. Open the heart and let's circumduct those shoulders with giant circles with those arms. And go the other way. I like the butterfly, right? Let your hands come down. As you exhale, roll over that front thigh, draw your hips back. Breathing here. 
Ardha Hanumanasana. One more breath as you exhale, bring that left foot down. Reach the right heel straight back and let's find a standing split. Lift that right leg to sky. As you exhale, just hover that right knee behind the left. You can use your fingers if you want, coming all the way down for Ardha Matsyandrasana, left arm behind you. Right arm's gonna pull it in. Maybe even reach that right arm to sky and find a nice twist, right? Notice, are you rounding? And you lift up tall, spread your inner shoulders. Look over the left shoulder, look over the right shoulder. Little counter stretch. As you exhale, find a hip stretch that works for you. I'm going to go with Gomukhasana for the moment. I'm going to reach the um, left arm out to the side, sneak that arm up the back of the body. My right arm come up. This is a flow style, not the Ashtanga one. If you're, there you have, this is the beginning of five. Back of the head's in line with the sacrum. Keep those inner shoulders easy. Breathe into the back ribs. Exhale, come on forward. And step it back, three-legged dog. Turn the left toes out, couple hip circles. Moving that leg out to the side. Check out your toes. And stretch into the hamstring. Inhale, lift your right heel. Exhale, bring that heel down, lift the toes. A couple more times. And as you exhale, find those giant cat cows. This time when you come on forward, roll onto the outside edge of that left foot, inside edge of the right. Keep your right hip point forward. Maybe check out your right thumb, look up. And as you exhale, right knee draws in, inhale, reach it away. Exhale, draw the knee in, inhale, reach it away. This time exhale, I'm gonna step it all the way up. Let your left knee come down, reach those toes away. Move into those hips a little bit. Take your hands to the thigh, breathe into the back of the body. Let those hips sink down. Reach the arms up. Open the arms like a cactus. Shoulder blades lift the heart. And just sink down as much as you want. Fingertips to floor. Exhale, roll over that front leg. Ardha Hanumanasana. Let the front of the body get long. Breathe in here. Right foot comes down, standing split on that right leg. Left leg lifts, maybe grab your calf. Breathing here. Let your neck be long. And as you exhale, snuggle that left foot behind the right. Coming on down, Ardhamati Andrasana. Maybe you want your hands, maybe you don't. Right arm behind you. Left arm's gonna pull that knee into the chest, sit up tall. Maybe reach the left arm up and snuggle that elbow to the outside. Any arm variations you like. Sit tall and open. Look over the right shoulder. Look over the left shoulder. Little cow stretch. And then find your hip opening. All right. I like Gomukhasana. You can do double, chid, double blah, pigeon or just Sukhasana. Now reach the right arm out to the side, sneak that arm up the back of the body, spread that inner shoulder, pat myself in the back with the left hand, breathe into the back ribs. I like to keep my feet flexed here. Exhale. Now reach three legged dog, reach that right leg to sky, turn the toes out, a couple hip circles. Open that leg out to the side. You can move into your left hamstring. Inhale, lift the heel. Exhale, heel down, lift the toes. A couple more times. And then as you exhale, bring those nice long cat cows. Good 
Allow yourself to settle. A few breaths in your Adho Mukha Svanasana, Downward Facing Dog. Figure out what feels good for your body right now. Those of you who are very bendy, you like to kind of jump into the back of the body. See if you can engage the front. Draw your low ribs together. Lengthen the sternum. Some of you might want to reach your uh, sacrum back towards where the ceiling and wall meet. Inhale, lift your heels as you exhale, bend the knees. Bring those feet forward any way that feels good for you. Inhale, Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, Uttanasana, forward fold. Hands out to the side, do some wrist circles. Forward with Stasin. Exhale, Samasthi. Move through Surya Namaskara A. Let's do four of them. Inhale, lift, exhale, fold. Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, Chaturanga Dandasana. Try to keep it very light, more of a float. Inhale, Ordva Mukha Svanasana. Exhale, Adha Mukha Svanasana. Inhale, set yourself up. Lift the heels, set your gaze. Exhale, bend the knees, getting ready. The body's nice and empty. Forward. Inhale, Artha Uttanasana. Exhale, Uttanasana. Forward fold. Wrist circles the odd way. Forward, Vastasana. Exhale, Samastihi. Adding in some balance if it's interesting. Inhale, lift the heels as you find your Ord Vastasana. Exhale, Uttanasana. Folding in. Inhale, Artha Uttanasana. Exhale, Chaturanga Dandasana. Ordva Mukha Svanasana. Adho Mukha Svanasana. We're lengthening all four sides of the waist evenly. When you're lifting, you're hugging leg muscles to the bone, lifting the kneecaps. Inhale. Set your dristi. Exhale. Bend the knees and nice and light. Inhale, Ordva Mukha uh, Sorry, inhale, Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, Uttanasana. Hands out to the side, wrist circles the odd way. Maybe lift the heels. Exhale, Samasthi. Inhale, float it up. Exhale, dive in, ride the breath. Inhale, lengthen the spine. Exhale, float it back. Inhale, find your back bend. Exhale, Adho Mukha Inhale, set your gaze, lift your heels, exhale. Then bring it forward when you're ready. Inhale, Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, Uttanasana. Wrist circles, odd way. Ordha Sasana. Exhale, Samastiki. Last three, Namaskara A.
naar armen. Exhale, vol. Word Vasasana. Samasthi. Find your Tadasana in one breath. Wake was in the right foot. Lift your left knee. Cross it over. Karmadasana. Left arm under right. Drop your shoulders. Lift your elbows. Karate chop the floor with your pinky. To, you can bring your foot to your calf if you want. Or in the groin. We'll breathe here. Reach those arms up. Keep reaching. Gaze is above the horizon. And challenge the balance by lifting that right heel. Exhale. Bring the heel down. Reach your arms out like a T. And just see if you can. Utita Asta Padangastasana B. Looking over that right shoulder. Exhale. Bring it to A. Drop that left hip. Inhale here. As you exhale, Virabhadrasana three. Lift the left leg higher. I'm just gonna float it back nice and light. Inhaling, Virabhadrasana one. Exhaling, Virabhadrasana two. Root into the left foot, straighten that right leg. Reach it out of T to Tree Konasana. Left arm to sky. Scoop that arm overhead. Let the right arm reach. And then as you exhale, let's come to Prasarda Pada Uttanasana. Um, you can do A, or you can bring the hands down and come into any headstand of your choice, drawing the shoulders away from your ears. I like to reach my arms long, it's my favorite one. Maybe find tree pose here. As you exhale, Chakranga Dandasana arms. See if you can reach that left leg out to the side. And try to bring the left toes towards your left pinky. Maybe even ah, try to take it into Ekapada Kandanyasana. Hopefully you're not going to kick your bookshelf. As you exhale, can reach that leg straight back. I'm sort of stuck here, so I'm going to inhale here, and as I exhale, I'm going to twist through. Bring that left leg across. Nice deep inhale here. Exhale, drop that hip. And I'm just going to come to a seated position. Left leg reaching towards the front edge of my mat. I'm going to take the left arm in the inside, right hand to my ribs, open up. And as I exhale, bring a nice uh, lateral stretch. Leaning over that left leg. Breathing here. As I exhale, I'm gonna reach that arm up and around and find a hip opening. Keeping that right inner knee drawing away from me. As I exhale, I'm gonna keep that right hip joint, uh, knee joint closed. I might even close it more and then from the hip, Open it up so I can bring the heel into the belly button. Setting up for our Ardha Padmasana. And maybe reaching Ardha Padma Uttana. Reaching on up. I'm going to turn the left toes out. Bring that heel in and maybe reach my right knee out to the side. Keep closing the left knee joint. Setting up for Padmasana. Breathing here. Let me draw to the Push my hands down, bring myself to the back of the mat, and then as I exhale, I'm just gonna hug those knees in. Plant your palms, lift up, find a uh, pit and pose. Exhale, bring it back down. I'm just gonna roll over this front of the knees and come forward. Keep the belly lifting, tailbone long. So if you let your chest come down like this, it doesn't really do much in the pose. It's really important to keep the front of the body very active. Feet flexed. Trying to uh, make your lotus a little tighter. As you 
you exhale, come on back to center. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring the left shin down and reach that right leg out. And reach up and around. Trying to draw the toes towards the top of the head. And as I exhale, I'm gonna step that foot up. Standing split on the right leg. Holding it, exhale up to stand. Shake it out, shake it out. Okay, remember that inside too. All right, let's see. Oh, guard awesome. Bring the weight to the left foot, right arm underneath the left. Drop the shoulders, lift the elbows, reach the pinkies away. to bring that right foot into tree pose, standing on the left leg. Reach the arms up, gaze is above the horizon. Connecting in to that vibration all around us, whatever you might call it. Maybe float that left heel. You want to challenge the balance. Exhale, bring the heel down. You're gonna reach your arms out to the side. And maybe find Pita Astapati Mustasana V, hooking over that left shoulder. Come back through center, finding A. Drop the right hip. Exhale, the Urva Drasana the three. Turn those right toes out, bend the left knee. Nice light float. The Urva Drasana the one. Exhale, the Urva Drasana the two. Breathing here, root into the right foot, straighten the left leg. Ooh, Tita Tri Konasan. Really reaching like you're trying to offer something to the top of the, to the top of your mat. Right arm to sky, reach that arm overhead, and let the left arm float. As you exhale, turn it forward. Headstand of your choice. Top of the head comes down, or Prasarada Pada Tanasana A. All right, breathing here. Now come on up. Bring those feet together. Draw the shoulders away from your ears a lot. They're shruggy. This doesn't feel so good on your neck, right? You want to keep that nice and safe. Pressure on the head's not that heavy, actually. Then as you exhale, plant your palms. I'm going to reach that right leg out to the right. Bring the toes up towards my pinky. Breathing here. And as I exhale, maybe a Kapata Kanda Nelson. All right, breathing here. And then I'm going to three legged dog. Inhaling here as I exhale, I'm going to reach that right leg through and bring that hip down. And so the right leg's going to be pointing towards the front of my mat. And I'm going to be in like a a wide angle, uh, Upavishta Konasana, legs. I'm gonna take the right hand out, take my left hand to my ribs and open up to the side. Nice deep inhale here. As I exhale, I might bring my elbow down. I might reach that left arm up and over, trying to lean back with my left shoulder blade. Breathing here, looking up the sky. As I exhale, I'm gonna take it uh, back through center and find a hip stretch for that left leg. Um, rocking the baby or swaddling the baby, I'm a swaddler. I'm gonna reach that inner left knee away. Right in here. Close the knee joint. Heel in towards your belly button. And maybe forward fold. Try to keep the back of the body nice and long and the front of the body lengthening evenly. A little harder with your foot there. Let's see what you can do. Inhale, reaching on up. As you exhale, maybe finding lotus. So see, I reach the left knee out to the side, close the right knee joint. Flex those feet. I'm gonna back it up. Back that thing up. And then give myself a 
yourself a hug. Try to wrap your toes around your tricep just if, if you can. Sit up tall. Maybe find your pendant. And come on through. Belly in. Breathing in. Come back to center. So the right shin is going to come down. I'm going to reach that left leg back. Try not to kick anything in my house. I'm very kicking things in the house today. And then see if you can draw the toes towards the top of your head. Breathing here. We exhale and step that left foot up. Find a standing split on that left leg. Try to keep it balanced. Those of you who hyperextend, bless your hearts, maybe you keep your right hand on the floor. And come on up to stand. Yeah. Kind of like that sequence, but I don't want to do it again because I kicked the bookshelf and I kicked my plant. So I'm going to work with something else. All right, weight into the uh, right foot. Guard asana, left leg on top, left arm underneath the right. Drop the shoulders, lift the elbows, karate chop. Nice deep inhale here. As you exhale, bring that left foot into tree pose, brick shasana. Reach those arms up. This time challenge the balance by closing your eyes. Inhale, reopen the eyes, reach your arms out. As you exhale, Utita Astapani Vistasana B. Wrapping that hip down. Exhale, take it to A. Here, maybe dancing Shiva. Reaching that left arm back. Check out your thumb. And as you exhale, Vira Vajrasana. Three. Step it back. Float it back. Vira Vajrasana. One. Let the low back and belly. Let the low back get long. Tone the belly in. Open the heart. And as you exhale, reach that left arm up. And see if you can take a twist, bring that elbow around, lean back. Ground down through the outside edge of your left foot. As you exhale, come on down, three-legged dog. Breathe here. Turn the right toes out. You're going to reach that right leg out to the side. And then as you exhale, ekapada kamadanyasana. If you're interested, Deva Dutta Pana Asana. Exhale, Chaturanga Das. Inhale, Urdhva Mukha Svanasana. Exhale, Adho Mukha Svanasana. Float the right leg back, same leg as you exhale. Twist underneath. Let that right leg float. Left arm to sky. Grab the outside edge of the foot and maybe float it up. Standing split, the top of the mat. Exhale, coming up to stand, shake it out. Bring the weight into the left foot, lift your right knee, guard awesome. Right arm goes under left, breathing here. As you exhale, brick shasana. Maybe do it with no hands if you want. Reach the arms up. Challenge balance by closing your eyes this time. Really trust your foundation. Notice the movement that happens. Inhale, open the eyes, reach your arms out. And as you exhale, Tita Asapani Vistasana B. Go over that left shoulder. Bring the foot forward, bring your gaze forward. Maybe dance with Shiva variation. Looking back at your right, oh, looking back at your right fingertips. Breathing here. Exhale, here we're drawing a three. Turn those toes out, float it back. Inhale, here we're drawing a one. 
Tailbone's long, belly toned. Open up. Putting a nice back bend. And as you exhale, right arm reaches up, finding a twist. Really getting that elbow to the outside, leaning back with your left shoulder blade. Good, as you exhale, three-legged dog. Turn those left toes out. We're gonna lift from the uh, outer glutes and the inner thigh, reach that leg straight around. Ikapada Kandanyasana. If it's interesting, David Dutapana Asana. Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, Urdhva Mukha Svanasana. Exhale, Adho Mukha Svanasana. Left leg reaches back. As you exhale, come on to the um, sole of the right foot. Reach that left leg out to the side. Maybe grab the outside edge of the foot and maybe step it up. Stand and split. Come on up to stand. Shake it out, shake it out. Breathing here. into the right foot, guard, uh, Gardasi. Left arm on your right. Rikshasana. Arms reach. Gaze above the horizon. You can either close your eyes or lift the heel. If you're really feeling like a rock star, maybe do both. Exhale, heel comes down. Reach the arms out like a T. Keep the Astapada Gustasana B. Looking over the right shoulder. Gaze forward, foot forward. A. Exhale, Virabhadrasana 3. Inhale, Virabhadrasana 1. Open the heart. Maybe let's find chest expansion. Arms, and as you exhale, humble warrior this time, right shoulder to right knee. You can go deeper if you can keep your hips in. Inhale, reach that left arm forward, and as you exhale, find your twist, leaning back. Frame that front foot. Um, Ekapada Adha Mukha Svanasana. Turn those right toes out, lift your left heel. And bring that leg all the way up and over. Ekapada Kandinyasana. Deva Dutta Pana Asana. Chaturanga Dandasana. Ordva Mukhasvanasana. Exhale, Adha Mukhasvanasana. Draw the right knee in. Roll onto the sole of the left foot. And reach that right leg forward, left arm to sky. Maybe find the outside edge of the foot. And reach it up. from a truss and a prep. Breathing here. Wait into the left foot. Karadasana. Right arm under left. Breathing here. Rikshasana. Rikshasana. Reach the arm. Challenge the balance. Exhale, open the arms. Inhale here as you exhale. Tita Asta Padangustasana V. Looking over the left shoulder. Look forward, bring the heel forward for A. Inhale here as you exhale. Virabhadrasana 3. Turn the right toes out. Float it back. Inhale, Virabhadrasana 1. Open the heart. Chest expansion, arms opposite index finger on top. Exhale, humble warrior. Go down as deep as you want. If you can uh, keep your hips in, if you're doing the bump with that left hip, not the pose. Inhale, reach that right arm forward. As you exhale, open up, find your twist. 
Breathing here as you exhale. Bring that front foot. Three-legged dog. Lift the right heel if it's not already. And reach that leg out and around. Ekapadakandanyasana B. Maybe. Fallen angel. Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale. Ordva Mukhasvanasana. Exhale. Adha Mukhasvanasana. Left knee to chest. Roll onto the outside edge of that right foot. Reach that left leg out. Grab the foot and draw it up towards your hand. You've got to pivot the hips to find your standing split. Come on up to stand. Check it out. You're starting to feel a little bit warm. Hope so. In here. Weight to the right foot. Guard awesome. Exhale, dancing Shiva. Look back at your fingertips. Make sure you can trust your foundation on that right leg. Inhale, look forward. Kind of reach it out. Utita Asta Pranagustasana B. Look over the right shoulder. A. Bring the foot forward. Breathing here. And as you exhale, you're trying to balance. See if you can keep that left leg plugged in. Reach it back. Virabhadrasana 3. Hold on to your toe lock as long as possible. Open it up. Virabhadrasana 1. Exhale, open up Virabhadrasana 2. Turn the toes forward. Take your hands to clasp behind you. Setting up for Prasarta Pada Tonasana C. Exhale, coming on down. Drop the shoulders away from your ears. Reach those arms overhead. Breathing here. Exhale, lift on up, and skandasana. Left toes turn out, right toes to sky. Take it the other way. Find a clasp if you like. Come on back through center. Walk yourself around to that right foot. You're gonna plant your palms. Keep the right leg straight as you reach it back. Shake your head yes and no. Stay here, come on to the ball of the left foot. Maybe hop that left foot in a little bit. Come on to the ball of the left foot, tippy toes, and just see if you can lift up. Breathing here. Separate the legs. See so if you can keep reaching out through your right heel. And as you exhale, maybe Eka Padaka Vinyasana B. Take it through a vinyasa for upward facing dog. Exhale, child's pose. That is a super hard transition for me. I hardly ever catch it, but maybe you will. Breathing here. Plant those palms, tuck the toes, lift the hips up and back. Reach that right leg back, turn the toes out. I'm just gonna keep reaching that leg up and over. Right. Inhale, reach it back. So the chest has to go through the upper arms. Keep your arms straight for as long as possible. All right. Inhale, reach it back. Exhale, step that right foot up. Stand and split. Coming up to stand, shake it out. Breathe in here. Gardasana, standing on the left leg. Right arm goes underneath. Breathe in here. Nice deep inhale. As you exhale, dancing Shiva. Back the right fingertips. Inhale, find your toe lock, open it up. Tita Astapati Gustasana B. Exhale, A. Bring it to center. Try to keep a hold of your foot for a long time. Pull your belly in as you reach the chest forward. And eventually, you'll let go. And re-extend the chest. Virabhadrasana 3. 
Virabhadrasana one. Inhaling. Exhaling. Uh, humble warrior. Right, hold on. It's a little hair. Inhaling, reaching forward. Reaching that elbow around for your twist, lean back a lot. As you exhale in one, step it back, three-legged dog. Breathing here. On the tippy toe, plug that right leg bone into the socket, lifting up. Wrist double, shoulders one line. See if you can just lift, push down with your hands, pull the leg bone in and up to lift. Right. Separate the feet, reach that left leg out to the side, toes up towards the pinky and beyond. Oh, almost. Ekapada Kandinyasana B. Reach it back. Maybe take a break in child's pose for a moment. Let me do that inside one. Breathing. Coming forward. Three legged dog, left legs to sky. Reach that leg out and around. Chest goes through the upper arms. Reach it back. Reach that leg up and around. Inhale, reach it back. And stand and split. Holding in. Inhaling up to stand. Do some more circles. Shake it out a little bit. Breathing here. <sighs> Ground down through your right foot, Garudasana. Left arm in the right. Exhale, dancing Shiva. Inhale, Petita Asa Panavistasana B. Exhale, A. Inhale here, keep a hold of the foot as long as you can. Reach the chest forward. It's more like a standing split and then Virabhadrasana 3. Load it back, Virabhadrasana 1. Adjust your feet if you need to. Exhale, Virabhadrasana 2. I think I forgot that on the other side. You're going to root into your feet. Opposite index finger on top. Prasarda Pada Tanasana C. Breathing here. As you exhale, walk it around. Walk yourself around to that right foot. And keep the right leg straight. Breathing here. See it nice and light. Just plug the left leg bone into the socket. All right, one more time. Try right, to keep the arms straight. Bring the feet together. Separate the legs. You reach those right toes towards the top of the mat. Oh, maybe. Reach it back. Three-legged dog. Exhale. Standing split. Coming on up to stand. Shake it out. Put in that Prasada Pada Tanasana. Side two. Bring your weight to the left foot. Guard and right arm under left. Breathing here. Exhale, dancing Shiva. Look back. Inhale. Open out to B. Exhale, take it to A. Keep your toe lock, keep reaching the chest forward. Eventually you're gonna let it go, pretty close to a standing split. And then, Virabhadrasana three. Float it back, Virabhadrasana one. Exhale, Virabhadrasana two. Turn the toes for Prasarda Padottanasana. Let's take D this time. Open the heart, 
Exhale, fold yourself in. Let the top of the head come down if that's interesting. Do whatever you like with your hands. I like to come onto the um, top of the wrist because it gives them a break. Shoulders away from yours. Oh, I said D. Yo, you chill out. <laughs> Breathing here. Shoulders away from the ear. Keep the spine long, right? So it's easy to get the head down, it's easy to round. So you can keep that spine lengthening. Come on up. Let's take a twist. Right hand underneath your nose, left hand to your low back. Nice deep inhale here as you exhale, open. Plug that left arm bone into the socket, lift it up. And as you exhale, thread the needle, reaching through for that ankle, calf, or thigh. Let your head drop towards the floor as you find your twist. Maybe reach that right arm through and look underneath your left arm, see if you can see the sky. Exhale back through center, left hand underneath your nose. Right hand to the low back, nice deep inhale, exhale, twist. Reach the arm out and up. Breathing here. As you exhale, thread the needle. Grabbing the ankle, calf, or thigh, let the head drop. And you can reach your left arm through, threading the other way. Maybe look underneath your right arm and see the sky. As you exit, inhale, walk it around towards your left foot. Three legged dog. Plug that right leg bone into the socket. Push down with your palms, lift your right leg in and up and see if you can. lift. Separate the leg. You're going to reach those left toes towards the top of the mat. Scoop your belly in. Extend the sternum forward. Big body count in Yasana B. Reach it back as you exhale. Standing split. Coming all the way up. Breathing here. Take a moment. In your Tadasana. Grand down through the right leg. We're only going to take the uh, Prasada Pada Tanasana, the standing um, wide angle forward fold on the left side this time, just to make it even. Third asana, left arm under right. Exhale down to Shiva. Look back. Inhale, Utita Asana Panusasana V. Exhale, bring it forward. Keep that toe lock. See if you can extend the sternum. Almost a standing split, maybe into standing split for you. Virabhadrasana three. Inhaling, Virabhadrasana one. Exhaling, Virabhadrasana two. And windmill those hands around. Reach it back. Um, pop that left foot in. time for this. Really use your toes. Scoop the belly. Oh. D. Reach that right leg back. Float it up into a standing split. Come on up to stand. Weight to the left leg. Guard awesome. Right arm under the left. Breathing here. Exhale. Dancing Shiva. Inhale. B. Exhale. A. Keep your toe up. Extending chest. Inhale. Virabhadrasana. Three. Exhale. Here. Inhale, Virabhadrasana, one. Exhale, Virabhadrasana, two. Root into that right foot, turn the left toes in. Up some. 
do a little back bend. And then as you exhale, fold in. Soften those shoulders down. Draw the shoulders away from the ears. Scoop the belly in, reach those legs out to the side. Maybe come up and do a front back split. Twist it. Exhale, come on back through center. Letting those legs swing around, twist the other way. back. Maybe bring the right toes forward and lift them back up. Exhale. Lift them back up. I'm going to breathe here. Coming on down. Walk yourself around to that left foot. Three-legged dog. Reaching it back. Shake your head yes or no. Plug that right leg bone into the socket, jump it up. Wrist double shoulder, maybe press up. Those of you who like to press with uh, both legs, do that. Reaching up. Up. Lost my balance. Grip the floor with your hands, nice and light. And separate the legs. Bring those left toes towards the top corner of my left mat as I extend the chest. Maybe. Hope some of you caught it. Breathing here and then as I exhale, standing split. Coming on up. Taking a moment in your Tadasana, letting your breath be nice and smooth. Breathing here. Gonna do some shoulder circles. Separate the feet hip distance. Interlace your fingers behind your head. Spine is nice and tall. Chin toward your chest. Come on back up through center. And just let your arms be easy. Find an easy to toss in, right? Don't let your fingers relax. I'm just going to check the time. All right. Now. your hip points and lift your hip points up. Reach those arms out and up, maybe open them like a cactus, whatever feels good for you. Scoop your belly, open your heart. As you exhale, roll it down. Uh, folding in Uttanasana. Inhale, Ardha Uttanasana. Bring the big toes to touch, clamp my hands, and lift that left leg. See if I can lift up. Maybe reach that left leg away. Any kind of flying scorpion feet. And maybe stag handstand. From here, I'm going to open my right knee out to the side. And as I exhale, oh, see if I can catch that leg. Nope. Inhale, reach it back. Just trying something else. Exhale, right foot between the hands, open up the Urbhadrasana too. I thought that might be easier. Didn't really make a difference. Breathing here. Drop the left arm, reverse warrior. And as you exhale, we teach to pause va konasana, okay? Reverse warrior. Take the hand to the outside, reach that left arm up and over. Drop your left ribs, lean back. Inhale, reverse warrior. Exhale, hand to the inside. Left arm to sky. Turn the hand behind you, spread those inner shoulders, reach underneath for a clasp if that's interesting. Straighten your arms. Root into that left foot, straighten that right leg. Breathing here. Try to keep reaching the sternum forward. And as you exhale, nice and light, we're going to float it out to a bound Ardha Chandrasana. If you don't like the bind, just undo it. I'm going to step that left foot in, straighten the right leg, and reach that left leg back. Exhale, float it back. 
We extend the arms. We have Vajrasana two. Uh, reach it out or teach a Trikonasana without the bun. Exhale, frame that front foot and just take it through a Vinyasa. Exhale, down dog. Breathe in here. Spread those inner shoulders. If you like, you can bring your right forearm down. Walk the left hand back. Now lift that left leg up. Maybe funky forearm stand. Take it back down. Step that left foot up. Standing split. Coming up to the top of the mat. Some wrist circles, that feels good. Breathing here, separate the feet, hip distance. Let your tailbone get long. And open up on the toss and up. And then roll it up, ribs, chest, shoulders. Exhale, dive in. Inhale, lane. And float that right leg in the air. And just pick up. Maybe flying scorpion legs, reaching uh, the right leg nice and straight, keeping that left knee bent. Might open, uh, stack. Might open that left knee out to the side. See if I can scoop my belly and keep reaching the chest forward. And that's definitely not going to work on that side. And reach back. Exhale. Vira Vajrasana 2. Left leg between hands, opening up. Some wrist circles. Reverse warrior. Forearm to thigh, reach that right arm up and over, spread those inner shoulders. Reverse warrior. Take your hand to the outside. The natural tendency is to go into a forward fold here. You want to keep scooping that left hip under, draw the ribs in, reach that right arm over. Inhale, lift up, here we draw some of two. Exhale. Hand comes to the inside, maybe a bind. Spread those inner shoulders, lean back. You can stay here. You float it out into bound Ardha Chandrasana, or just Ardha Chandrasana. Step that right foot in. Straighten the left leg. Reach that right heel. Float it back. Nice and easy. Open the arms. We are Vajrasana to two. Nice deep inhale here. Root into your right foot. Reach it out. Ati to Trikonasana. Bring that front foot. And take it through a Vinyasa. Up dog. Exhale, down dog. Maybe bring the left forearm down, walk your right hand so the wrist is right in line with the elbow. Float that right leg. And if it's interesting, funky forearm stand. Keep spreading those inner shoulders and try to keep your right elbow in. Inhale here as you exhale, step that right foot up. Standing split, coming all the way up. Breathing here. Finding your chasm. Whatever that means for you. Whatever you need to do to relax the body. Find a simple pranayama, just do dry breath. Exhale, big toes touch and sink the hips as you bend the knees, Utka Tassana. Bring that left elbow to the outside of the right knee. Carve roots at Utka Tassana. Let those hips low, keep the spine long, keep opening the heart to the side of the room. Left ribs towards the right. Left arm down, right arm to sky. 
As you exhale, look down, plant your palms, pars of Bukhasana, and reach the legs out. Ekapada Kandanyasana A. And then as you exhale, come on to seated. Reach the left leg out, draw that right knee in. Uh, swaddling the baby or rocking the baby. Whatever makes you happy. Sit up tall. Draw the right knee back. We're sitting for Surya Yantrasana. So the, we're going to bring the right leg back, right knee back as far as you can. Find the outside edge of that right foot. The left hand will open up, breathing here. Try to get as tall as you can. As you exhale, plant those palms, float elephant trunk pose. Reach, find the ankles, Astavakrasana. Come back through center. Ekapada Kandanyasana. Reach that leg to sky. Maybe bring both forearms down this time. Plug that left leg bone into the socket. Blind. Breathing here. Bring your stag legs. Whatever you like. Look through your arms. See if you can see the sky. Keep the toes engaged. And pay attention to your hips. As you exhale, left foot comes down. You're going to step that right foot out. Standing split, coming all the way up to stand towards the top of your mat. Breathing here. Big toes to touch, space between the heels. Sink those hips as you bend the knees. Utkatasana. Planting your twist. Leaning back, get those hips low, lean back, lean back. Maybe right arm down, left arm up. As you exhale, look down. Pars of Bakasana. Squaring the chest towards uh, the floor as you reach the sternum forward. Maybe reach those heels away from each other. Bring the right foot down. You're going to reach the right leg out as you bend the left knee. Finding your uh, swaddle variation, right? Lift up nice and tall. Breathing here. Reach that left leg behind you. Reach back, maybe fit that knee on top of the arm. Soar your yantrasana. Leaning back. Sit up as tall as you can. Try not to sickle your foot. Left foot. As you exhale, re-bend the knee, clamp it down. Elephant trunk, so you push your hands into the floor. Lift up, snuggle the ankle, right ankle on top. Asta cross and straighten the legs. Exhale through center. Ekapada Kavanyasana B. Float it back. Three legged dog. Maybe bring both forearms down. Lots of energy into the inner wrists. Like you're high fiving the floor with both hands with your with both hands. And oh, lift that up. Right knee in, reach that left leg long. Look through your arm. Breathing here. Maybe stag legs if you like. Maybe keep that left leg reaching away from you. Feed your tootsies. Exhale. Right leg comes down. You're going to step that left foot up. Standing split. Let me all have to stand. Find a moment in your Tadasana to reconnect your breath. Breathing here. Toes to touch. We're going to move through Ukatasana into Malasana, garland pose. Eventually the knees will separate. You're going to keep reaching those hands forward and just come on down to your sits bones. Right. Um, 
I'm gonna bring the left ankle over the right, plant my palms, lift the sits bones, maybe lift the feet, and then switch it up. I'm gonna come forward to all fours. Keep the belly button into your spine. Nice deep inhale, and then as you exhale, our head to floor, reach your arms up. This is um, puppy pose. Maybe wrap uh, chest comes down, wrap your triceps down. If you have a lot of muscle mass in your shoulders, you can let your arms come wider, feel much more comfortable. Some people like to come onto their fingertips for blocks. Walk my hands in. I took praying puppy in there, I added that in. Tuck your toes, lift your hips up and back, and lift the heels, and as I exhale, I'm just gonna draw those knees into the chest and bring the feet through. Come to be seated. Navasana. Right in here. Maybe grab your ankles. Try to get the spine as long as you can, sitting up nice and tall. Scoop the belly in. Right in here. Ardha Navasana. And as you exhale, just bring those feet to the floor. Take a moment to breathe. Palms down by your side, ankles right underneath the knees. Bridge pose, keep the chin lifted. Maybe wrap, uh, bring your hands together, wrap one shoulder under than the other. Exhale, roll it off. One more time, inhaling bridge pose. Maybe bring the other shoulder under first, keep the chin lifted. Exhale, roll it off. Here. If you want orbit on your ass, and, uh, line up with that next. I just want to open my shoulders a little bit more. I'll line my hands up. Bridge legs. Top of the head comes to the floor, move your hair out of the way. Draw your elbows in, plug the arm bones to socket. And lift on up, straighten arms and legs together. Right in here. Exhale, come on down when you're ready. Those of you who love that pose, you can stay as long as you want. recovery breaths in between. We're going to do at least three Orvidanyarasanas.
your time. Come to the crown of the head first and draw the shoulders away from the ears. And lift on up. Maybe walk your feet in. Straighten the arms and legs as much as you can. Push your feet into the floor to get the shoulders over the wrists more. Come on down. Last one. Those of you who like Viparita Dandasana, um, certainly go down your forearms enough. You're welcome to come down. I don't really feel like doing that one today. I thought it might at the beginning of this practice, but we don't. Reach the tailbone. Hang on up. Together. I'm going to drop the knees to the right, back through center, and to the left, back through center, to the right, and then to the left. Next time I come to the right, right ankle goes to the outside of that left knee. Breathe here, nice and easy. And come back through center and bring the hips, uh, right knees left. Spread the chest to sky. Just neutralizing the spine with a really sweet feeling twist, whatever that is for your body. Coming back through center, drop the knees to the left and then to the right. A couple more times. Next time your knees are at the left, you're going to take the um, left ankle to the outside of the right knee. Coming back through center. Bring the hips left and knees right. And just let yourself relax, so sweet and easy. back through center. And set yourself up for your final relaxation, whatever that is for you. If you prefer seated meditation, you're welcome to do that the whole time. Your arms reach out to the side. Let the breath go. Let your practice go.
breath cycle, begin to bring some awareness back to the breath. Drawing a nice deep inhale in. Exhale through the mouth. Start to move the fingers and toes. Wrists and ankle circles. When it feels comfortable, reach out through the arms and legs. And as you exhale, draw your knees into your chest. And if you like to pick a side of the body to roll onto for a breath or two, please feel free to do that. And when you're ready in your own time, make your way up to a nice, comfortable seated position. Breathing here. Hopefully that was long enough in Shavasana. Um, sit up nice and tall. Let the elbows relax right underneath the shoulders. And just allow yourself to breathe in stillness. I'm going to ask you to really feel how the breath is moving through the body. Really notice if you're breathing more into the belly or more into the chest. Try to even it out. So let your pranayama this evening be in um, settling into equanimity.
heart center, chest to chin and chin to chest. Give yourself a moment of gratitude. Thank yourself for coming out to the mat today. I'm Sitaray. Namaste. I bow to you, everybody. Thanks so much for playing with me. And um, maybe take a moment to notice, like on your practice, and you're reaching out in all these different ways and different directions, right? Grabbing onto different things. But the uh, center channel is what's keeping you grounded and keeping you centered. And I think it's important to keep in mind when you're when it feels like maybe even friends and family of yours or this head space or heart space is going in a different polarity or a different direction that, you know, ultimately um, there is that connected space that we all have inside of us that will kind of bring us back to center and to some common ground. Um, again, thanks for playing. Namaste. Have a beautiful day. Hope it was fun.